Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, we're back out here in the world of iguanas, and we got one of our friends that you've probably seen on our other videos. We have our friend Joseph from Texas. How are you going, What's buddy? up, guys? I am doing good. Awesome, awesome. Me and Joseph's been talking for the last couple days, and he said he had a little special little piece of equipment that he wanted to try to see if it would be effective on catching iguanas. Joseph, real quick, why don't you tell us what you got and what you're working with? We got a couple things. I've got... Hunting is not just about the pull of the trigger or the release of an arrow. It's about the efforts you put in and the adventures you experience. It's about what comes after and putting meat in the freezer. Hunting is a way of life and it's in our blood. And that's why we're Texas Game Hunters. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by Fullicious.net, Wicked Lights, Horn and Antler Ranch, Rack Rage Deer Attractive, Burris Optics, and Tacticam. Thermal imaging technology, we, we, to say the got least. Oh. The rifle scope, the thermal rifle scope on the Gamo. Ooh. With the Tacticam to record. And then the scope also records too. So oh, nice. We got nice. that set up to re record. Awesome, well. awesome, cool. Well, you know what? A lot of people at home been asking, like, hey, uh, does thermal work? I actually was thinking about it myself. I did some research. I seen some mixed reviews. So today we are going to try to test that theory and see whatever uh, information we can uncover. We're going to let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now we're doing an iguana count on the channel. Right now we're currently at number 86, 86. for the year. We're kind of starting a little bit early, but New Year's right around the corner. Nice. So we're going to try to, I guess, let's try to, I don't know. See what we can get yeah. to today. Yeah, yeah, let's All let's right. do it, man. <laughs> we got some buzzers. So I'll tell you guys the job real quick. We're at this church, and there's a lot of iguanas hanging out in that playground right over there. You guys probably see me here a couple times. Well, today is that day we are going to try to do some removal. And as you can see, there are quite a few of iguanas just kind of hanging out there. And then there's some females inside that uh, that kind of playground area. So we're going to check it out. I did see a big one right over here across the bank. Let me see if he's still there. Like a big orange one. He's a decent one. I try, let me see that real quick. Oh yeah. Showing up? Oh yeah. It's on white hot. Yeah. Here. You look at him real quick. <laughs> Just that white. Oh wow. Yeah, the white line. So Dude. if this was if this was night or they're up in the tree. That's what he looks like, just standing out completely. That is so sick. I see him. He's, a, he's, he's white. He just yeah. Looks like a ghost. It's on. It's on white hot mode right now. That's cool, dude. And then we can switch the color palettes. I can switch it to black hot, and now he'll be black. Let's see. Now everything else is like white. Or everything gray, that's hot is black. So you can see the outline on him perfect. Yeah. Dude, that's pretty. That's pretty sick. That's pretty darn cool. If I got to say so All myself. Right. Here. Here. Tyler, come right here. Hold this. You see the iguana in the thermal? You see the black iguana? He looks black. Come right here. Maybe he's a tree in your way a little bit. But let's see where he looks. That is so cool. Yeah, he got him. I got him in the head. Get him again, it's okay. Good 
shot. Good shot. He's trying to shake it off. These things can be tough, dude. Especially it's breeding season right now. Exactly. No. Right there. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. See if you can freehand them right quick. That's it right there, dude. That's it. See if you can get one more. He's gonna try to crawl in the water. Yeah, get back out. Dude, this thing is tough, bro. It is tough. Sheesh. I'm not hitting far back. You're getting them. You're getting them. I think you got one more. Finishing touch on them. Alright, let's watch where he goes. Here, feel me. I'm gonna go grab him. Okay, Tommy, you hold him. He's right at the edge here. Yeah. See where that branch is coming out? He right stopped there. right there, down underneath there. Okay, go, go, go with him, Tyler. We got him, dude. Nice. Nice. Sorry about that, bro. Wow. Doesn't usually always go that way, you know? Oh, he's bleeding. Yep. Oh, yeah. He's going to have a headache. Oh, oh. 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 He's still alive, but he's bleeding. You got bleeding. one more for him? Oh, yeah. You want me to do it? If he's bleeding. He's bleeding, but he's still alive somehow. Yeah. He ain't going to be alive for long, buddy. Yeah. Number 87. Definitely dead. That's yeah. good. That's how you want to do it, bud. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by Reveal by Tacticate, Boyd's Gun Styles, Phantom Blinds, Back Road Products, Aluminum Fab Industries, and Scrape Fix. What's like some of these thermals go for, man? Because I know they can be up there a little bit. This one retails right around that. Uh, Depending on what dealer you get it from, 2,800 to 3,200. Depending on how many pixels and how good of a wet Dep how you want. It also depends on what dealer you get it from and what specials they're running. The, and your, the manufacturer advertised price is right around 3,500 bucks. Okay. But a lot of people do it right now for around 2,800 to 3,200. Okay. okay sweet. That's the Burris BTS 50. This thing is sweet. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go get another one. Let's do it. That way we're shooting towards there. And then we'll shoot that way. And then, you see that big boy? Yeah. Yeah, right there. Let's go over by this yeah, van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised they're not running yet. Daddy, stay there. He ain't gonna run too, too far. Oh, you got that one. You got one more? One more. One more bullet. 
thing is, is you know it's how it's hard to see them? In this thermal, I see all three of them. That's wild. No issues. No issues at all, huh? Yeah. That's Got cool, man. The one on the left, the one all the way by the fence, and then the one that I just shot. I'll shoot at him again. Don't go behind that tree. Okay, I'll wait for you to Oh, this is... Now behind it. Can you stop <laughs> on the wall. Okay, I think I think you felt that one, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. He's done. He folded up on that one. <laughs> so it's an interest, interesting observation that Joseph just made. He's saying that in the thermal, he can see everything white. You know what I'm saying? He can see it all. Now, um, what I'm looking at, I have to I have to try to distinguish green from green and different. You know what I'm saying? I, I I don't have that advantage of seeing exactly what's white, what's black. He has that clear dis that clear advantage. Of seeing exactly what's white, what's black. So that's that's a really, really good little uh, piece of information right there. A little breakthrough, you know? Dang, dude. Bro, this is insane, dude. This is a breakthrough. You know what? We're going to also try to look in some trees and see if we can pick them out once we clear this field out, all right? Yeah. That's really the test. Because if we have that type of technology, dude, we can just look at any tree and then the iguanas can't hide from us. Yep. This is incredible, guys. It's a breakthrough. Right, huge shout out to our boy Joseph, man, coming out here, bringing the technology to you guys, okay? It's incredible, it's incredible. Is he breeding? What is he doing? He's like uh, trying to crawl, but that's the one that's folded up, you know? Oh, okay. He's got big ones in the playground. Okay, we gotta get him. He's. Yeah. No, they're, oh, breeding. they're breeding. They're breeding. He has one in his mouth, dude. That's, oh, he has the one that I shot in his mouth. He, he has. Are you serious? Yeah. All right, take his head off, bro. Dude, guys, the one that Joseph just shot, a big bull grabbed him by the throat. Look at him. Oh, yes. He's trying to bring him back to the nest and, and do the do with him. Look at him. He's just, he's, he's just taking it like a tank. That one hit him, right? Yeah. I've never seen anything like this, guys. Look, he's right there. Finish him. Nice and easy. Oh my goodness, right over him, dude. Oh, that was me. That one was me right there. Take your time, take your time. Take your time, he's right there. He's right there, dude. Gotta give him one more good one. He's gonna go to sleep. Good shot. Good shot. Oh, All he right. got through the fence though. Good shot. That's bad though. It's okay. He's gonna be right there. He ain't doing too well. We'll I got get one him. More in the hole. We'll All right. There's one right there by that fence, dude. Headshot right there. Oh no, no. Right, right there. Right there. Take him out. You're out, you're out. Should I go yeah. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by Expedition Archery, Element Outdoors, All Pro Taxidermy, Sick Broadheads, Fox Pro Game Calls, Outdoor Edge Knives, and The Gut Daddy. Oh, so I didn't even realize it, y'all, but we're shooting the gamo, uh, the gamo in, uh, 0.77. Yeah. This is cool. I don't think we've ever done that on this channel. Yeah, we've never, yeah. yeah, we've never shot a 0.77 yet. So it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think you got him with a. Oh my gosh, there's one right there, dude. You see him? Where? Right in front of us. Look in your oh, thermal. Oh my gosh. Look. I wasn't even looking over that way. That's a perfect shot right there. Good shot. That's it. Oh, you see the blood coming out of the back? I see him, I see him. Mm -hmm. I see him. Mm 
All right, kids, I think he's taking a nap, all right? He's, he's, he's not dead, he's yeah, just taking a nap, all right, guys? Yeah. All right. <laughs> you silly, silly iguanas. See, you can barely see the head right there. Oh, yeah. But look at it. You look at it through the thermal. You, you can, can see the whole black, the whole black body. Dude. That's, that's money. Big. That thing is big, Oh, my. Dude, that's that money. It's a big boy too. Can you see the black? Oh wow, look at the size of his head. Oh! Headshot there. <laughs> Sniped him. You got him on that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be dead. That was my last shot too. Nice. He's got, He's got to be dead there. Reload. Guys, we're going to come through here and then we're going to look around here because we hit one more over there. We're going to get him and then we want to recover. Looking at him for this tower? Got a sleeper right there. They're just taking naps out here, dude. That's the issue, dude. That was a hit. Get him again. You can see the blood coming out of the neck. Get him again. That was it. Night, night. Good shot. I think he might be stuck. Yeah. Might stop. We'll, go, we'll go finish him real quick. Got him. Ooh. That one just saw what happened and cleared it. You got another one? Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got him. What is that right there, boys? That's poop. That is poop. That is poop. Exactly. And then we have kids, nice kids like you guys, or probably even smaller, playing out here. And then there's poop everywhere. Yeah. It's just not really the most cleanest thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one more. Oh, oh, yeah, there's that big one. That big blacky going on. I think it hit the rock right in front of him. Yep. There is no, there is no escape with thermal imaging, y'all. So there's 11 bullets. Well, there is an escape. So Daddy when, when I'm shooting. <laughs> so Daddy, there's 11 bullets. No, oh no, I got him in the top. You see the blood coming out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You did get him. You did get him. Look, now he's popping his head open. Oh. Ooh. He's going here. Hold this. Hold this. Uh, it's okay. He's right there. That was a fatal mistake on his behalf. Oh my God. There's a freaking stud right there, dude. Hold on, hold on. Oh shoot, okay, okay. Come on, Scope, turn on. Oh my god. Dude, you can clock him right there. Come on, turn on. Oh my god. Get him, clock him. Oh, you got him. I got him. You got him. I got him. Watch out, Travis. You got him. He's Yeah, he's leaning. Yeah, one more good one. He's hanging, he's limp. That was right under into his head. There you go. Alright, Travis, hand me the uh hand me the camera. Right here. He's right there. I'm gonna have to go in there. Oh yeah, he's. I mean, he's got like 20 pellets in him. Dude. Breeding season iguanas, bro. No joke, man. Dude. Alright, boys, he's coming. We're coming in hot. Coming in hot. There might be a lot. She. Oh, that thing is big. <laughs> That thing is huge, boys. Yeah, he's still alive a little bit. We finally got him. Dude, that, 
is definitely the big alpha room in this territory out here, yo. So I'm super happy, man. We got a lot of the females and this is really who we came out here looking for. We saw them at the last minute. Goes to show like, don't ever give up. Anything can happen at any time. And check it out with the teamwork of me, Joseph, using the thermal imaging, we were able to get the big Godzilla King Kong Iguana in the back. Is that the one you saw on the way? Exactly. This is where he was coming. He was going to jump right up in here, mm -hmm. come up right up in here, and only do God knows what, y'all. I'm going to piss you off. You bad. I failed this city. Bad Iguana. Yay. All right, y'all. Hey, check it out, man. He's going to wrap it up. Uh, huge shout out to our friend Joseph from Texas, man and his sons for coming out here lending a hand. These boys are thugging it, man. They came out here in sandals. Blood on his feet. Oh, you already washed it off. Yeah. The car washed it Did off. not complain, guys. They were out here. They were learning. They were seeing. They were shooting. They were spotting. So huge shout out to those boys. Uh, now, we were utilizing the tactics of the Burris thermal imaging scope on the rifle. There wasn't one that I wasn't able to make out or able to make a shot. There was quite a few that were hiding in the bushes or the grass that mm -hmm. we didn't make out with our eye. I scanned with the thermal and they lit up able to they pick couldn't it up. hide them so that was one of the biggest advantages is just being able to find them when our eyes couldn't find them right away exactly exactly that was absolutely insane y'all um you ready for dinner yeah <laughs> <laughs> huge shout out to our friends at burris for uh, making this really nice scope right here and we put it on the gamble and we were able to take care of business at this job now because of us there won't be any iguanas at the playground, and when school starts back and resumes, the kids will be able to play in a safe and clean environment, not worrying about big bad alphas trying to be uh, uh, trying to be territorial and dominant. So Joseph, thank you so thank much, you, man. Sir. I appreciate it. Boys, always a pleasure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any uh, that's about it. Any final thoughts? Anything you want to say? Where do you want to come out of here? <laughs> Next break. Next break. Next school break. We'll come back again. All right, <laughs> let's do it.